ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the boys, the Don't Wait Boys! <laughs> They double book this? No. I hired you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not into anything weird. No, 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 So this is probably going to be the one. Let's yeah, no, this is definitely going to be yeah. the one. Tonight, guys, this is the show that's going to be perfect. Am I right? Yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah. So let's do some perfect sketch comedy, because that's what we do. Don't be serious. We're trying to come back next year. I'm done. <laughs> What are you talking about, I'm telling man. you dad loves you more. No way. Just, I, I come to terms with it. I just want you to admit it, dude. No, whatever, bro. Not whatever. I just, I just want you to say it for once, because I'm fine with it. Hello, Hello. my sons. Hey, How are we doing hey. today? Oh, God, I almost forgot. Time for your weekly allowance. <laughs> All right, AJ, let's take a peek here. Uh, 15 for you. 
watch. And uh, Joe, 15 for you, bud. Uh, told you. <laughs> thanks, Dad. <laughs> oh, not a problem, son. Yeah, thanks, Dad. Not a problem. What is happening? I love you, you love me. <laughs> we father, son, L-O-B-E. Yeah, you are my favorite. He literally said it. He said it. This is truly one of the worst infernos I've ever seen, Mark. Most of the workers were able to get out when the malfunction first began, but we have just received word there is still one man trapped inside. Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. Hold on there, Mark! Oh, it looks like we got a mysterious guardian angel to save the day! Hey, sir! Hey, over here! Stop going! Hey, 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 of this amazing rescue? Uh, uh, sure, I, I think I just did uh, what anyone would have done in my shoes. <laughs> oh, sir, you're not giving yourself enough credit. You are truly a hero. Well, uh, uh, he hero is a strong word. I, I definitely wouldn't call myself a hero. Oh, sir, you are truly, truly a hero. <laughs> no, I, actually, I'm pretty racist, so... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think you'd call me a hero if you knew how racist I am. I'm like crazy racist. <laughs> are, you, are you serious, man? Yeah, I wouldn't lie to you. I'm not Korean. Oh, God. <laughs> Why is that even a stereotype of Korean? Alright, alright, sir, what I'm trying to ask you here is, uh, sir, what compelled you to go into that burning building to save that last remaining worker? I definitely thought that I was saving a white guy, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little worried now he may have been a Hispanic. All the smoke in there made it kind of hard to be racist, so sorry, Mom. <laughs> no, no, all right, sir, no, 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 no. No, this question has nothing to do with your racism. So what I'm trying to ask you is, what gave you the courage to run into a literal Inferno. Oh, I got, I got you now. Uh, yeah. uh, racism has really taught me to act without thinking in most things that I do. Also, I really want to reiterate, I thought it was a white guy, otherwise I would not have saved him. No offense. <laughs> uh, legally, I have to say, none taken. All right. <laughs> no, no, not alright, sir. I need to let you know that your racism is destroying the feel-good vibe of this story. Uh, that building burned down. Okay, uh, a lot of people of all races worked in there, and in this shifting economy, none of them are going to find work for a while, so it wasn't really a feel-good story to begin with. You're a complicated man. Yeah. Uh, people are seldom all good or all evil, Mr. Indian Newsman. Uh, we're, we're a million shades of gray. And I don't trust the darker ones. But now cut the feet! I don't like immigrants! Cut the feet! Stop this! Stop this. Stop Train. All right. Well, today's book is what's known as a fiction. Now, who here can tell me what fiction is? Oh, what's that? Well, that's right. It's nonfiction's arch nemesis. <laughs> now, remember, as we travel through the library, you want to log all the miles you read. Now, little Timmy there's already logged some 5,000 miles, so everybody's gunning for you. Well, what's that? Well, that's right. We're not supposed to use the phrase everybody's gunning for you in school anymore. <laughs> now today's book is called Knock Knock, Who's There? Betrayal. <clears throat> now, who here's ever been betrayed before? Oh, oh, what's that? Well, that's right. It's the scar that never heals. <laughs> well, let's get this old train of ours started. If we're going to reach our destination, the end. <laughs> All right. AJ and Sonny, friends since birth, made their way down to Murphy's Pond. Just innocent little boys they were, just heading down to Murphy's Pond like they always did at night. Because the biggest frogs come out at dusk. Hurry up, it'll be dark soon. Oh, oh my god, I feel like we just ran a million miles. 
Yeah. Nothing better than this, though. No. Except for kissing your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! More like kissing your mother! <laughs> Gross! <Yeah. laughs> uh, I love being nice. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sonny. Yeah, AJ. Do you ever wonder who you are when nobody's looking? What do you mean? You know, if you were ever in a situation where you could live, but only if you had to kill somebody else. <laughs> you ever wonder what you would do? Uh, hey, a frog! Oh, 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 that oh, oh, it's one of the flying ones! Oh, AJ, look, it's huge! Yeah, give me that great big frog! Oh, uh, there's gonna be a finder speed! No! Huh. You give it to me or else. You know, one day you're not gonna get away with that. <laughs> not gonna get away! <laughs> well, seems like a healthy relationship. <laughs> so AJ and son has scooped up their new four-legged friend and headed home. I tell you, nothing could separate Sonny from AJ and AJ from Sonny. Uh, theirs was a special friendship, like the kind you read about in storybooks. Like this one. <laughs> well, I tell you, they, they stuck together, more frogs were caught, girls were teased, and detentions were shared. There did come a time when AJ desperately needed Sonny, and their special friendship was especially tested. It was a hot night, the summer before they'd start high school, and AJ was outside of Sonny's house. Hey, Sonny! Hey, Sonny! Sonny, Sonny, get down here. I got something super important to tell you. Hey, Sonny. Sonny, please. Come on, Sonny. Hey, okay, okay. Sonny. Hey, 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 AJ, AJ. What, were you trying to wake up the entire world? J just get down here and I'll explain everything. Okay, well, give me a second. I gotta go down the stairs. <laughs> Spiral staircase. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Stop throwing rocks at me, AJ. What is it? Okay, promise? Promise what? <laughs> Shut up and promise. Okay, fine, I promise. Okay, so you know how I was riding my bike down to Mel's General last night to pick up our grape sodas? And, but then I never ended up coming over? Yeah, I'm still really thirsty, AJ. <laughs> well, when I was on my way to Mel's General, I hit somebody with my bike. What? Who? Some old guy. And he's dead, Sonny. What? He's dead. What? How is that even possible? How fast were you going? Do you even regret it? None of those things matter. Oh, all that matters is that he's dead, okay? He had skid marks all over his face. Actually, they were all over his entire body. He looked at me right before I hit him. And in his eyes, I saw everything. I saw his grandchildren at his funeral. And then a split second later, I saw their first Christmas without Grandpa. And all the presents said, from just Grandma. <laughs> AJ, snap out of it! Listen, where's the body? Down by Murphy's Pond. Okay, well, we need to go get to it before someone else does. All right, meet me out back. Okay. So, Sonny climbed on his Huffy and AJ on his Schwinn. Oh, what's that? That's right, Schwinns were nicer than Huffies, but they never talked about it. <laughs> And you know what else? They didn't say a word as they rode their bikes that night. AJ's blood-stained spokes spinning round and round. And when they finally pulled up to Murphy's Pond, AJ revealed the body that had been shrouded by the reeds. Oh, jeez. I know. What are we going to do? Uh, I don't want to go to jail. Okay, okay. AJ, let's, let's find his wallet so we can get his address. And then we'll take his body upstairs, we'll put it in the bathtub, we'll put a toaster in there, and we'll make it look like a breakfast accident. <laughs> That's a great idea. But are we going to be able to carry him upstairs? Oh, dang these kid arms! I know! Uh, oh, hey, I got it. Why don't we just chop him up into a thousand little pieces, and then over the course of the next few months, we'll mail those pieces to random addresses across the United States. <laughs> Gross. I hate the taste of stamps. Right, that's why we should do that. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, oh, what if, what if we hold his mouth open and then slowly pull water into it until he's heavy enough to sink? It's literally the only way. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. 
Well, maybe a few minutes shy forever. But eventually the old man did become heavy enough to sink and the boy sent him to his watery grave and was surprisingly religious at the end. <laughs> Apparently Sonny had a dove that I had no, and ages lighting a funeral pyre, they get it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Their junior year of high school, just like they'd always done before school dances, AJ and Sonny were getting ready at Sonny's house. But this time, something was different. Oh, I look like Dumbo. <laughs> I've been telling you that for years, AJ. Shut up. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, AJ? Yeah? Uh, can I talk to you about something? Yeah, sure. It's just it's really tough to bring up. Just shut up and tell me. Okay. AJ, you know Mel from Mel's General? <coughs> They found him dead in the streets. AJ, he had skid marks across his face, actually, across his entire body. That's weird. I didn't hear anything. Okay, it's just, you know, the same thing happened like six years ago, so... Yeah, probably just a coincidence. Hey, didn't we say we were never going to talk about that again? Yeah, but AJ, it's happened five times in the last... You keep years. your mouth shut if you knew it was good for you. Okay. Now you help me with my tie. <laughs> okay. You know, Sonny, friends never betray each other. We're best friends, aren't we? Yeah, AJ, best friends. Hey, I bet Stacy's gonna look really nice tonight. <laughs> she better. <laughs> <laughs> and thankfully, she did. <laughs> and Sonny didn't bring it up again until people all over town started dying. On one of Sonny's sleepless nights, he made a decision to do something. He was going to turn his friend AJ in, and he started walking over to the Elmhurst Police Department. <coughs> Friendship, my butt. Hey, Sonny, where are you oh, going? Hey, AJ. I'm sorry, when did you pick up smoking? Oh, cut the bullshit, Sonny. <laughs> you wouldn't betray your best friend, would you? A best friend wouldn't make me keep a murder secret for six years. Oh, Sonny. Poor, stupid, ignorant Sonny. Be a real shame if the cops found a bike in your garage, wouldn't it? A bloody bike. They wouldn't believe it. Oh, no? No. What's that you got there? It's a, it's a journal. Oh, a lot of guys have them. All right. You know what? Everything that's happened the last six years is in here, AJ. Wait, you, you, you give that to me. No. You give it to AJ, me. AJ, no. So AJ, AJ, please, no. AJ, 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 AJ,
<laughs> That's what I meant! Attitude? Sorry. I think I know what's going on. You remember when the Arabs flew the planes into the buildings? Yeah. And you remember how the Jewish media made a fortune with their 24-hour coverage? Yeah, we, we talk about it all the time. Right. And Arabs hate America because? Because we let Jewish people live here. Right. And Arabs hate Jewish people because? They're white. Right, that simple. Yeah. And uh, who else is white? We are. We sure are, buddy. So when you were praying at lunch, you probably reminded those other kids of the age-old battle between Islam and Judaism. But all the kids who were making fun of me were white, too. Maybe you're just not popular yet. <laughs> Teach the children well The Father's help is slowly going by Hi right, guys, uh, thanks for coming and uh, thanks to Beansville for hosting this event. My name is Reggie Smith, I'm uh, the author of The Lonely Death, and today I wanted to do a, a reading through about halfway through chapter three. Our main character, Thomas, is uh, about to go off to the army, so he's saying goodbye to his father before he sets off on his own great adventure. As Thomas embraced his father, he cried openly. The older man pulled his son back and shook his head. No crying now. You're far too old for that. Thomas stifled his tears, mustered his strength, and gave a curt nod. His father stared at him for a long time, and then saluted him. And in that instance, Thomas knew he had finally gained the approval he so desperately craved. Oh my god. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. All right, question. Question. Yeah. What happens next? Uh, I guess you're just going to have to buy the book to find out. Uh, I think Thomas's dad should go with him to the army. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint you, sir, but I, I don't think that that happens. Well, it could. I'll pick up where you left off. Uh, okay. So, uh, uh, Thomas had uh, gained the approval he so desperately craved. Uh, because Thomas' dad looked him in the eyes and said, he said, we make a great team, let's be bunkmates in the army. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, the, the book is written, so you don't need to add anything, sir. I don't mind, dude. It's, it's this game we used to do in English called Pass the Story. Oh, yeah, I, I remember that exercise. Um, hi, excuse me, sorry? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think a woman should show up next. Oh, okay. yeah, well, yeah, yeah. He, he does meet uh, a love interest in the next chapter. So. <laughs> oh, God, that's so cute. Uh, not a love interest. Ooh, yeah. But uh, someone who kicks ass like, <gasps> Xena, the princess warrior! <laughs> nice, nice. Katie, bring that up on your turn. Okay. Oh, she doesn't get a turn. <laughs> well, dude, don't be a chauvinist. Okay, where was I? Okay. <laughs> Uh, when Thomas and his dad get to the army, Thomas's dad goes exploring, and he finds a secret government base where they're hiding aliens. Well, uh, no, no, there's, there's no aliens in this book. <laughs> the alien leader's name was Gabrielle. <laughs> and as she stepped forward, like a total badass, there was no denying that she was all woman. This is ridiculous. Huh? Said Gabrielle! Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you humans are no match for us aliens! No, 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 I meant the story that you two are concocting. It's absurd, it doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't have to make sense. That's the great thing about this exercise. You just say what comes to mind and the story's better. <laughs> okay, Katie, where were you going with it? Okay. Suddenly, a minotaur bursted from the oh, alien man. ship and charged Thomas's father. Okay. Thomas tried to pull it off, but it turns out it was a female minotaur. Ooh. And they are way stronger than their male counterparts. <laughs> nice, that's good, nice. Thomas's efforts were to no avail. Oh no, so what happens? Reggie, it's your turn. Reggie. <laughs> I'm not doing this. No, just think about what Katie was saying. The Minotaurs have Thomas in his head. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand how to do it, okay? It's, uh, the book's published. I spent a really long time on this. You know what, Frank? Reggie was really bringing down the pace of the story. Oh, <laughs> Katie, you are the worst! Oh my god! You are the worst, Reggie! The female minotaur finished 
off Thomas and his father. <laughs> then he created a wormhole to come to Beansville to kill Reggie. What? <laughs> you can't kill me in my own book. <laughs> it's, it's the community's book now. <laughs> As Reggie lay in a puddle of coffee and unsold copies of his novel. Burn you! Burn you! Burn you! Burn you! Burn you. Don't burn you. He looked into the face of the majestic she cow and realized war is hell. <laughs> the end. <laughs> You guys actually nailed the last line. Oh. Okay, hey guys, we got one more sketch for you. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys have been awesome. We got one more sketch for you. I don't know about you guys, uh, AJ and Sunny, but you guys getting hungry enough? Yeah, dude, I'm starving. starving. <laughs> you, know, dude, you guys uh, want to move for burritos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about we buy the late night uh, Chipotle and get some burritos? Sound uh -huh. good? Uh -huh. How about this? So we go we go to the late night Chipotle, we get some burritos, we go back to our Airbnb, we eat those Chipotle burritos, then we get on Toronto Craigslist, we find someone who is renting or selling babies. If they've only got one, we pass, we need two. Then we go somewhere where we can race the babies, then we feed the losing baby to the winning baby. That's gonna make the winning baby stronger, he's already fast. Joe! Joe! We don't wanna do that. Yeah, seriously, that just sounds terrible. Taco Bell? Yes! No one's ever been with a donkey boy. 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 Do you guys want to see a brand new sketch? Do you guys want to see a new sketch? Yes, yeah. 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 
awesome. Oh, so, right. yeah, we got scripts. Yeah, yeah, Joe, here, go ahead, take this guy right over here. And right over here. All right, we got scripts for everyone. Okay, let's really stick to the script today, guys. Uh, I know you love to improvise, Joe. I know you do. <laughs> Oh, you do it so often. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and generally, I like it. Yeah. You do. We yeah, do. Yeah, but we, yeah, we need to see how it works since it's yes. new. Yes. Okay, but, but you do like it when I go off script in other times. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. I want to confirm it. Okay, great. Okay. So what's going on? Okay, so okay. okay. Uh, <clears throat> Joe is sitting in the Don't We Boys office when AJ and Sonny enter. <clears throat> hey, Joe, we got to talk. <clears throat> uh, why so dramatic? Of course we can talk. I'll talk with you guys about anything. I do anything for the don't we boys. Well, this is really hard to talk about to such a good friend who I also share a professional comedy relationship with. AJ, whatever it is, I'm sure you've got my best interest at heart. And even if our professional comedy relationship changes, our friendship will survive. <laughs> cool. Uh, hey, Joe, Sonny and I think you shouldn't be in the group anymore. Yeah. What's happening? Now, that, 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 joke. Stick to the script. <laughs> I totally understand. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for the opportunity. Oh, this is funny. Oh, joke. Keep going. There's a ton more. <laughs> I know it's not that I didn't try. I just should have tried harder. This is like it's hacked. Okay, like, joke. Okay, okay, okay. Joe, don't improvise. Okay, we need you to go word for word. I'm sorry I wasted your time. Oh, <laughs> thank you for understanding, Joe. Okay, good. That was a good sketch. Yeah! Don't clap. Don't clap. Is this okay, a sketch? No, no, was this a sketch? Okay, yeah, Joe, can you read the stage direction? No? Come on. Keep reading. Come on. There you go. Joe leaves stage, but there's no hard feelings and everything's fine. This is bullshit. <laughs> oh God. All right, you guys have been great. Yeah. We are the Don't We. <laughs> oh, God. It does feel like there's something missing. I knew yeah, it. Yeah, we need yeah. one. New boys! New boys! Get, 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 get out of here. No! 